There's a blooper for Lauren. Hi. Hi. I'm Jess. I nearly forgot my own name. Hi, He's, and we are for the landlords.com. We uh, make landlords more money, save them time, and um, we reduce their hassle. What we really want to talk about is, is, a, is an Adam asks, um, but we've got a very, very specific question today. Mm. Uh, it comes up so often at the moment, and it's about stacking it up. <laughs> So you, 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 Basically, the question yeah. is really, um, does buy-to-let still cash flow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what yeah. people talk about a lot, and they, they stack a deal and they say, oh, it doesn't make any doesn't money. Make any money yeah. When they say it doesn't make any money, they mean it doesn't make enough. Yeah, so yeah. what we've noticed, and what we're going to run for you through now, is we're going to stack a deal. There's there's multiple pages here. Three. We're going to, three Same pages. Page. We're going to stack a deal to today's numbers and show you it's not just okay, it's, it's yeah. as good as it's ever been, so maybe even a fractionally a little bit better. Well, we've sourced for a client yep. this week, so it was available, it's not now, someone snapped it up. Um, okay, so, so let, let's go through it. So what we're gonna go through is yeah. buying it, what we pay for it, what we rent it, what, what it costs to renovate it, our fees, gonna tell you what our fees are, um, when you refinance it, and then mortgage, the mortgage amount, and how much money it makes every month, which is the thing that's on landlord's mind, and they're thinking, Oh, I, I can't buy another house yet. I can't buy it because it's not going to make me any money. And some landlords are going, it's only going to make me 50, 100 pounds a month. Yeah, That's not true. I will, we'll show you how. Right, so um, purchase price. The purchase price of this property was? 80,000 pounds. 80,000 pounds. You run it down or you not punish it. Adam's got his password to put in there. Go on, you keep that. Yeah, 80,000 pounds. 80,000 pounds. That's typical of the kind of house. We've, we source between 10 and 20 properties a month, and this is bang in the middle. We, 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 the houses prices that we're buying, the houses for anywhere Populate. from 60 to 150, that kind of thing. Stamp duty on that is 2,400 yep. and 2,400 pounds, there you go. Uh, the legal fees, how much are the legal fees? What does it cost you to buy the thing? A thousand pounds, that's pretty typical. That's the legal costs and the uh, disbursements, all the searches and all those things. The renovation, so almost all the houses that we buy need some work, this one was no exception. It really had to spend 26,250 pounds. And we, as a company, for the landlords.com, we're a letting agency, but we're also the UK's number one property sourcer. We charge a fee for doing what we do, and we charge 6,000 pounds plus VAT to source this property and project manage the renovation. So that's, that's in there as well, okay? So does a deal stack? If, if we're not doing it for you, then you don't need to pay that, but there's some good reasons why you should, because we do the, do the work for you. When all that was done, when we bought it, it was a bit of a wreck of a house. Um, we had to do this renovation, but after that, it was worth £140,000. Go on, Adam, I'm going to make yeah. that red. What does that mean? So what does this yeah. mean? Look at that. That's the first point. This is stacking the deal. That stacks amazing. Um, the client on this has done their work. I think that like we, we, we so found it. So many people buy a house that's in decent condition for about that. Mm. Include all of this on it. Mm -hmm. And they're in negative. And they're in negative equity, yeah, of course. They think they've done well. Yeah, but no, ne not negative equity. They're in negative to this situation. Yeah. So this house is worth £140,000 or will be for our client once they finish the renovation in about six weeks time. Um, and they've only paid that plus that plus that plus that plus that. Plus that and there is yeah. what it's worth now. And the difference between what they've paid, 116,850. Yeah. Eight, 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 oh. yeah. that's, that, that's the all-in price, you know, adding all these things up, including our fee, and then the thing's worth 140,000 pounds, so and they made have, this money. There is data to back <coughs> that yeah, of course value yeah, up yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got your comparables, and we've got a report for that, and yeah, pretty much it was. But there's, there's, a, there's a, what do you call it? Bracket, there's a bracket, and then we, we fall in with that. The end value bracket. The end value bracket. Yeah, we yeah. stack it at, um, down the middle. So the mm. bracket actually is the lower end value would be 135, and the higher one. It might be 145. Mm -hmm. In this market, it, it might end up being 145, yeah. yeah. Um, so, something that I like to do is if you work out that number, how long does that take to do? You've found it, you've got the tenant in there probably, what, three, four months? Yeah. Divide that amount of money that profit into that amount of money over three months and annualize it, you will never make a better amount, a better return than the initial purchase. You made 23,000 pounds by risking 116,000 pounds for about three months. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Anyway, that's just the start of it. That's not really I what- I <laughs> flippantly just say, 
to a client. The renovation took you, what, three months, three and a half months? I just made you 23 grand. 23 grand in, yeah, how, yeah that's about renovating months. the house for you. Absolutely, right, okay. Um, so, flip it over, this, this is now bought. Now you're gonna get a tenant in it. And this is the bit that landlords right now are really interested in because they're thinking, it's not gonna make enough money. It's not gonna be a, um, yeah, not, not going to be a cash flow machine. It's not going to actually, I'm going to be yeah. worried to that a boiler, boiler breaking down or something like that is going to wipe out all my profit and I can't afford it. And it's 50 quid, 100 pound a month. So what will this property actually make? We sort of pre-filled a few things in. Um, 140,000 pounds is what it's worth. If you get a 75% loan to value mortgage, that's how much you're going to borrow, 105,000 pounds. Yeah. So what will that be per calendar month? And I'm actually, I've got this for us because... November, middle of November, you'll see when this uh, is, is um, cause Adam's gonna write a number down. You're gonna, you're gonna put 4.5%. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you speak to landlords on the street now, they'll say mortgages are crazy, aren't they? What, you know, I mean, other comparison sites are available, but I've zoomed in so you can see it. Can you see that? Yeah, we can put that on the screen. 4.83%. 4. Today. 4.88%. 4.94%. Look at all these Today names. Today is the 10th of yep. November 2020. This is this is Birmingham Midshires. That's uh, Lloyd's. The mortgage works is nationwide. That's is the it? high street. That's the high street. That's yeah. high street. They, these are normal. Vida La Home Loans. Uh, look, these are all Lamb under 5%. Lambe, that, that's a limited company. Yeah. Um, hey, it's normal. That's normal. I've, I've, I've been paying that. My client paying this won't be refinancing it until the middle of next year. So. We are stacking yeah. stuff now at 4.5%. I think... 4% we'll get there eventually, but yeah, give or take 20 quid a month. The point is 5% works, the 4.83% definitely works. So that's a big misunderstanding in lots of landlords' minds at the moment. If you ask the, the average landlord on the street, they say, oh, aren't mortgages 7%? No, they're not. No. And they haven't been for, they were for a bit, but not for very long. And they haven't been for quite a few weeks, months, two months. Things have turned a while ago. You need to have tweaked that one out. So here we go, here's, here's the number. Go on then. There we are. Two hundred eighty-six pounds a month. That's normal. Um, That's what it always used to be. Seventy-seven pence. Seventy-seven pence. Um, <laughs> Adam is um, just working through the numbers. Your mortgage at that is going to be three hundred ninety-three pounds, stacking it at seventy-five percent loan to value, and you're doing four point five percent. You probably get lower. By the Maybe. time this comes, no, who, next knows, year. who knows? By the We're time, talking June yeah. next year. Mm. By the time it gets refinanced, this is this is being bought now. You got to wait six months from buying it in cash. Yep. So, um, yeah. Rent, that so that's is, on the that's on the middle again. bracket. So you could get more and rents are rising. So we stack the deal in, always in the middle range, yep. 775 to 825. We, we always advertise them pretty much at the high range anyway. I'd be, I think you've got another 25 pounds a month Probably, to add to that. You, you might even be sneaky a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll assess that at the time. Um, management fee for our full lettings. Management service, 12% plus VAT. So take 114 off there. We haven't hidden the fee, it's all in there. Our fee is in the purchase of it. That's what you're paying. That is in the bank. Not guaranteed. All yeah. things can go up and down. All things being equal. These but are only the houses compare, that you buy. Comparing it to how it was three years ago, four years ago, it's the same. It's exactly the same. Might be even a smidgen better. Um, Shall we just on. ask Lauren to put the real spreadsheet on the screen? Also, bit now. Like that. Yeah. Right. Did you do that? It's on. Yeah. Lauren, so. you do that. So there's a spreadsheet on the screen now. Yeah. <clears throat> what you got there? Ooh. This is kind of a fun bit at the end. We like this. Yeah. Because this is, you know, a typical landlord is going to be looking for a deal that they'd say it yields, what, 5 6%. Some landlords are really demanding and say, you know, 8 9 10 The more demanding you get, the less likely you are going to be able to find that property. But this is, this is, what, I, this is what I like to do. This is return on capital employed and your, your true ROI. So actually, after you've refinanced it, look at this. So after refinance, the capital employed, your money left in the deal is only 11000 Call it 12 grand. So that rent that you're making, the 200... And we so. sourced it, we renovated it, we managed the builders, we managed everything, we held your hand throughout the conveyancing. You never left... What did, what did you do? You never, you never had to go up there. We, you got a video update every single week throughout the renovation not for the progress narrated. Um, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Come it's on, there's, nice. no, there's no number like that in, in any other investment. That is the net profit and... The, the the capital employed, um, and by the time you've done all that, you've still got some you've still got some equity in there as well. Pretty good, huh? Pretty damn good. If you want one, um, you, you can place your order. Simple as that. Yeah. We are the so UK's honest, number you, one property sourcer. 
place an order, but actually now you have to place an order with us. Well, that's also very So true. we used to have our property sources sale agree these types of deals, kind of on spec, if you like, because we had enough clients coming through the door that we placed. Now we've got too much demand. There's so many opportunities out there. We, I want to yeah. give my property sources yeah. Orders. orders yeah, yeah. specific we, we, we imagine it like a zipper like that yeah, like you know there's no there's, it so can't be random anymore it's got to be so if you guys, want this yeah. deal yeah. along these lines we'll sit down and we'll talk about the areas of preference and we can we'll and then we'll go out and find that house for you take a buy to let order and then it just guaranteed you you reserved your slot there's only so many we've got property yeah. sources in all the all right you, right places but there's only so many of them they can only do so many deals all we ask you need is to you pay 500 pounds to secure your order, to secure one of our sources, to go out there and work especially for you. And then we did comes off comes off that fee. That 500 pounds at, at sale completion, when you pay our fee, we, we see you'll pay five and a half at sale completion. Done, right, so look, anybody who wants that, Hopefully that was useful for anybody who doesn't want to use a property serving uh, a sourcing service. That is how you stack a deal in November 2023. It works, guys. It works. The mortgages are normal. The rents are higher. It works just the same as, you know, forget anybody who says, oh, buy to let's dead. It doesn't work. It does. And if you want us to do that for you, then you can leave the fees in, not lift a finger, talk to Adam on his one-to-one -one booking calendar thing and uh, place your order. Put some comments in the... In the uh, yeah. Down there, isn't it? Down, down there or wherever it is because they'll all be different places. Right, bye for now? Yeah. Bye for now. Hope that was useful. Cool. Cheers, guys. Bye. Thanks.